Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to turn this TV stand into this. Stick around and I'll show you how we did it. So to start this project, we're going to break down a whole bunch of plywood using our circle saw. Once I have everything cut down to its rough width, I take it to the table saw and I cut everything down to their final dimensions. Off camera, I cut down some 2x2s to be the base for my TV stand. To attach these sides to the bottom rails, what I'm going to use is wood glue and brad nails. Once I have everything set, I'm going to reinforce it with countersunk screws. I cut the base panel out on the table saw and then I secured it using brad nails and wood glue. Once I had the base flipped down, I put clamps around it to make sure nothing moves or shifts on me. To make sure my center dividers are going to stay aligned, I grabbed some scrap plywood and cut some spaces out with them. I'm going to be using pocket hole screws to attach everything, so I want to make sure they're going to stay even on both sides. For the top support, I'm going to use 2x2s. What I'm going to do is just brad nail them in on both ends. It's going to lock in the shape and keep everything nice and sturdy. The way I'm going to set up the center support is going to be a little bit different. So instead of using brad nails, I'm actually going to use pocket hole screws. To set up for the face frame, I grabbed some 1x4s and cut them down to size about 1.5 inches. I'm going to attach this to the front using wood glue and brad nails. So to give this TV stand a wraparound look, I clamped a scrap 1x4 to the side of the TV stand, so this way I can get the exact length I would need for the overhang. Once I got the wood glue down, I used some clamps to make sure I can get everything aligned exactly the way I wanted it. So here's where that wraparound design comes in handy. What I'm gonna do is use some 1x4s cut down to size and I'm gonna put an X on the side and use trim to cover up those screw holes. So to eliminate any measuring mistakes, what I'm gonna do is just grab my trim and a pencil, mark a line to where it's even with the top of the TV stand. And what I'm gonna do is take it to my miter saw and inch up on that cut until I'm happy with it and it's flush with the top of the TV stand. I'm gonna follow this same method for all the trim that goes on the side. So to prevent splitting when this is being slid around on the ground, I'm going to put a small chamfer on the front. Once I finish putting that chamfer on, I grab my sander and I start sanding everything up. The first pass I'm going to use an 80 grit sandpaper. So the shelves I'm going to use for this TV stand are going to be permanently attached. So the way I set it up is I grab some scrap wood, cut them down to size, and then use clamps to hold them in place. Once I have everything in place, I attach the runners using wood glue and brad nails. 
Once the runners are complete, I grab some plywood, cut them down to size so I can use them as shelves. To attach everything, I'm just going to use wood glue and brad nails. Seems familiar, right? Now that I have the shelves attached, I'm going to add a face frame to it so it matches the rest of the TV stand. And this is going to give you an idea of what the base looks like before I add the hardware. To install the barn door hardware, what I'm going to do is grab my clamps and clamp the rail to the front of the TV stand. Once I have everything clamped, I'm going to check for level, make sure everything's going to be even across the board. Once it's leveled the way I like it, I'm going to mark the holes, pre-drill for screws, and then install everything. are interested in any of the tools I use for these builds, they're all going to be linked down below in the description. Once the rail is installed, I'm going to check again for level just to make sure everything is good. And that's going to do it for part one. If you like videos like this, like and subscribe so you don't miss part two.